what's up lovely people hope you guys are doing great welcome back to our video tutorials on how to build powerful AI chatbots so I hope in the previous video I was able to convince you to sign up with this platform this is a platform that I build my AI chatbots on all right now did I mention they are also uh, partners with Meta you know Facebook Meta business so guys, uh, I think you are, uh, you know, joining the right uh, platform. And uh, like I said before in the previous video, they have an awesome community. All right. So when you're ready to sign up, uh, you know, I'm assuming you're right here at chatbotbuilder.ai. If you're not there, just go to the site, and you should see something like this. Okay. And then just go ahead and hit sign up. Once you click sign up. Uh, if you're signing up for the very first time, you will likely see something like this. Okay, so you can choose how you want to sign in. If you want to sign in with Facebook, that's cool. Uh, you know, just decide how you want to sign in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google. So I'm going to click right here. And uh, let me use a different account. Let's see right here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click next. All right, and it says continue. Okay, so when you get over here, you want to pick a name you want to call your chatbot. All right, now uh, for the purpose of this demo, we're going to try to build a chatbot for a car dealership. Okay and uh, I believe once you learn how to build a chatbot for a car dealership you will gain knowledge uh, and use that knowledge you know to build chatbots for other niches right uh, let's name our chatbot something like a car finance friend I'm gonna call it car finance friend okay and then let's go ahead and click continue okay and now we have you should see something like this all right so we now have our bot right here called car finance friend right here this part of it is hitting a little bit but it says car finance friend okay so the first thing we want to do when we get here is to go to our settings okay so you see right here it says settings click on settings now there are a lot of things over here I will create a video and talk about you know all the other tools and features in here but I want us to go to the most important things first okay so once you click on settings you can see right here it says general all right and then uh, the next one underneath it says default reply so this this is the part where you have to choose what the bot is going to say whenever the lead is interacting with the bot okay or let's say let's call them user when the user interacts with the bot and the bot doesn't really understand what the user is saying sometimes it does happen okay the bot tries its best to be to to be human and try to answer as much as possible but sometimes you know it may not understand what the user is typing uh, or maybe the user might be playing uh, playing with it right trying to mess it up but anyway yeah. so you you need to decide what message should the bot you know give out spit out in case it doesn't understand something right so over here you can leave it as none or you can create a specific reply okay or you can have AI do it for you all right that's the cool part about building AI bots okay so you don't have to worry about response you could just say hey AI just take care of the take care of the reply default reply for me and AI will know how to you know what to say when it doesn't understand something okay so you have the option to decide exactly what you want it to say uh, or just let AI handle that okay and then over here you wanna pick your target country 
all right now you can see right here on the right side it says the country where most of your contacts live okay the bot automatically adds the country code to a phone number shared by your contacts to make it a valid whatsapp or sms contact okay so i recommend you pick your country all right uh, where you feel most of your clients live um, I'm just gonna pick United States for now so please try it. don't leave this part empty okay and then you can pick your default language uh, you know if you're Spanish you know pick Spanish if you're German French you know the nice thing about this AI bot oh this is so cool did you know that the AI bots are also bilingual and I think they can speak about what is it 150 to 200 different languages that is amazing guys so you know I remember when I was building bots back years back you know and I had to there would be some clients that come in and they don't speak English that well then I have to copy it what they said and then I have to go find um, a translator and then figure out what they said and then copy it and then bring it back in and then send it it was just too much you know and recently a car dealership contacted me and wanted me to build a bot for them and they they were getting so many leads and, and quite a number of them spoke Spanish so it was quite a bit difficult you know to have to uh, answer these people in Spanish and guess what when I build the AI chatbot AI quickly switched to the language that the, the lead was using and could you know it's amazing the AI was just answering back and forth and you know doing its thing so that's that's why AI chatbots today is so powerful alright so um, uh, this one here I defaulted it to English but uh, AI can switch to any language pretty much well not any language but at least about close to 200 languages all right uh, let's see here right here it says account time zone uh, pick your time zone all right whichever one you you're at I'm gonna go with New York time zone because that's where I'm at and then this side here is your color brand I recommend you pick a, lo uh, a color that matches with your the colors in your logo or your brand or you know so you can decide what you want to do you know which color you want and then once you're done remember to hit OK and then it will apply okay then this part here is develop uh, it says development mode so anytime you have to do some kind of a maintenance work um, on the bot and you don't want people interacting with the bot you could turn it on to development mode it says your bot will work only for the bot admins okay so only the admins will will see the bot working uh, and the other users will not be able to use it all right uh, if you need to delete the account which I don't think is what you're trying to do right now you know you can hit that over here all right you can also rename it if you feel you made an error uh, in the name account name you can rename it and you can change the logo remember this right here will be where your user ID account ID will be and your key okay all right so once you're done with this settings here uh, you can go ahead and save it or you know we can go to other places but I'm just gonna go ahead and save it for now and then uh, we're gonna go to the channels section but we're gonna do another video that will show you how to integrate your chatbot with your Facebook messenger uh, we will also do another video how to integrate the web settings that way your chatbot will uh, you know run on the web okay so that's pretty cool right because you, you know your chatbot has different platforms it can run on okay so let's uh, let's meet in the next video and we'll talk about 
how to set up your chatbot and uh, connect your chatbot to other platforms. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.